How's it going everyone? I'm Jay Gex and this is my analysis on the EVE Echoes economy for early May. I hope you enjoy. Tritanium is stabilized back at 3 isk each after buy orders hit 4 isk for a few days last month. Pyrite, Mexalion, and Isogen continue to fall since they each peaked in March when many players first started hitting tier 9. The tier 9 battleships require a lot of minerals and have been one of the main reasons in keeping mineral prices from dropping any faster. The higher tier minerals, Zydrine, Megasite, and Morphite, which are all found in low and nullsec, have shot up quickly in price across the board. The quick rise in price of all these low and nullsec minerals has caused all the ores that contain these minerals to go up in price considerably as we can see here on the ore price chart. The only nullsec ore to lose value is Hedbergite, due to containing mostly pyrite and isogen. But Morphite was the only low-sec ore to go up in price thanks to being the only ore outside of nullsec to contain the tier 7 mineral Zydrine. Morphite doubled in value over the past two weeks, but it's still not valuable enough to make mining Mercoxit worth it if you're trying to make as much isk as possible with your time. As you can see in this tier chart, Scordite's still the best high-sec ore to mine outside of Pyroxeres and Dark Ochre that can be found in some 0.5 systems that have tier 4 belts. Scordite will remain the best high-sec ore as long as Mexalion stays around the same price as Pyrite. Omber and Kernite are closely tied to the value of Isogen, since they contain a lot of it, which has been falling faster in price than the other low tier minerals. If Isogen regains its value, expect Omber and Kernite to possibly overtake Scordite as the best high sec ore. In low sec, Spidemane is still the king thanks to the sheer volume of low tier minerals that come from reprocessing it. Most industry corps in null sec should know that if you're ever short on the basic minerals to focus on Spodumane since it's also found in null sec. Amorphite is number 2 in low sec thanks to it being the only way to get Zydrine outside of null sec, and with Zydrine going up over 15% in value, it's giving Spodumane a run for its isk in low sec. If you need Noxium, Pyroxeres and Dark Ochre are the way to go. Out in null sec, most miners will be selling their ore to their local corp or alliance buyback program. However, if you're someone who reprocesses your own ore and are just curious what value you'd get if you took it to Jita, you can see Crokite, Bistot, and Arconor are the three ores you should be focusing on to get the most isk for your time spent mining. These three ores combined contain every mineral outside of Isogen and Morphite and are the backbone to any Nullsec industry corporation. Looking at the planetary material tier chart this week, we can see in our S tier we have silicate glass, industrial fibers, and smart fab units. These three resources are used for the PI modules and capsular outposts. The other two structural materials in A tier, coolant and noble gas, are the other two PI that are needed to build these PI modules for a capsular outpost. The PI modules, otherwise known as resource extraction management centers in-game, are in demand right now because the quality of life they provide when collecting your PI. Having a capsular outpost with the PI module on it gives you three extra planets and four extra arrays. This can be doubled by adding a second PI module to the outpost. This also comes with two quality of life features in that the time to activate goes from 24 hours to 48 hours and that the PI goes directly into your capsular outpost rather than a box floating out by the planet. Now it just goes to a bigger box that's floating next to a planet. While corp citadels have fallen out of favor due to not really needing more than one per corporation outside of claiming systems, the capsular outposts and PI modules are in high demand right now, especially for rich players with multiple accounts, as each character would need their own capsular outposts and modules to use. So five of the top seven PI currently are used for the PI modules. Looking at the other two, Precious Alloy has always been an S or an A tier mineral and is always a good option since it's used in every high tier ship in the game. Lucian Compound snuck into A tier. This is a surprise since it's mainly only used in building destroyers, so either more people are starting to use destroyers, or the more likely answer is it's just a temporary high for Lucian Compound, like Noble Metals were last week. Getting down into the B tier, we get into the PI that's still good enough to mine for if you can't find good sources of the S or the A tier PI in your area. B and C tiers make up the majority of the ship and structure building PI and plasmoids, the best fuel for your cargo space. Once we get down into the D and F tier, we get into the PI that you should avoid mining at all costs. These PI are just not worth the effort to mine at their current prices, due to both the oversupply in the market and just not enough uses for them in the game. 
Looking at the two week changes, we can see a lot of movement up and down in one tier on the list. So much so that I needed to squeeze in Motley Compound and Construction Blocks into the lower row. Noble Metals is the biggest loser this week, falling over 63% in value over the past two weeks. All of the metals fell in price with the exception of Toxic Metals. 24 of the PI went down in value while only 10 went up. This could be an early sign of the Capsuleer Outpost with PI modules becoming more prevalent and adding more PI into the market, or just less people building things currently. Crystal Compound fell by 37%, which is a surprise as it's used in all battleship blueprints and battleships are arguably the best ships in the game when it comes to PvE content, which is the only way you can make direct ISK in the game besides running missions. All other ISK in the game is just secondhand ISK used in trading between players or for buying Plex used for Omega or insurance. Glossy Compound and Fiber Composite have gone up in value 26% and 35% respectively. This is an indication people are focusing more on frigates and battlecruisers right now, as Glossy Compound is used solely in battlecruiser manufacturing and Fiber Composites used solely for frigate manufacturing. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to receive notifications when I make updates to these videos, as well as other content regarding Eve Echoes. Thanks.